The Honolulu Fire Department reached a milestone today. The HFD added 20 new firefighters to its ranks and ushered in its 100th class. This morning's ceremony at the Hawaii Okinawa Center's Legacy Ballroom celebrated those newest recruits. And my, how things have changed. KITV 4's Mike Cherry takes a look back at what it takes to graduate now, and he even caught up with members of the very first HFD recruit class. That night, that evening, the alarm came in. We got up, and when we stood up, and I was up the, the Kaimki station, looked out of the window, the sky was red. So we knew we had something going. Former Honolulu Fire Chief Frank Kaho'ohanohano remembers his first fire like it was yesterday. In reality, it was 1957, and he was two weeks removed from being in HFD's first ever recruiting class. Prior to our training, any firefighter that was hired had the on-the-job training. They shoved them right in the company, and you learned that way. We, we call it eating smoke. We go there and cough and breathe. We never had any breathing apparatus. So much of the experiences have changed, but so have the tools of the trade, like this fire hose, for instance. In the late 1800s, this hose was filled with a rubber lining and a cotton sleeve. Much different from the synthetic stuff that firefighters use today. Or how about this glass fire grenade that when thrown directly into the fire, it released carbon tetrachloride or salt solution in order to extinguish the flames. In 1957, classes took just two weeks. Training now lasts nearly eight months. HFD recruits are trained in CNR search and rescue, hazmat procedures, and become certified as EMTs. Add to that mastering computers and social media, and Chief Manuel Nevis says their target recruits have narrowed. Right now, the, the ideal candidate will be very well rounded. It's somebody that has the brains to absorb everything that we're training them with and also having some physical attributes that they can actually perform the work. Equality has opened doors too. Currently, HFD has 16 women in service, including Debbie Elenecki, who became the first female battalion chief last January. Still, some things will probably never change. It's a bond that you, you get and establish working in a company. And everyone has to work together. And, and that's, that's what I really enjoyed. I don't think there's anyone that ever became a fighter, firefighter regretted being a firefighter. And I think I, the way I feel, I still like to go back to work. When you look at a firefighter 50 years ago and you look at a firefighter today, there's a lot of similarities. And it's all in the heart that it's really not a career, it's a calling. Mike Cherry, KITV4 News.